Good Friday morning, you guys. I'm having my coffee here this morning while I do my meal planning. And these are the meal planning sheets that I'm going to be using. And it is the eat sheet. That's what it looks like. And it just has the menu plan there. And it is from mommytracked.com. So if you wanted to check that out, that is the name of that. So I went ahead and planned out both my breakfast and my lunch. So that's my breakfast, this is my lunch, and then those are my dinner. So I'm going to take you through everything and show you what I have planned. I am staying in Blue Dot all week, three meals a day plan. So this is my breakfast. I just put a sticker over the grocery list because I have my grocery list on my meal planner, and that's my grocery list there. So I just did a to-do, and every day I'm going to do 32 ounces of water, one fruit, and one extra, and that's just for breakfast. So my extras are anything that's three points or under that's going to be for each meal. So I'm going to try this out. This is what I was doing the other week, and I was really having some good luck with it. This last week, I didn't really follow it like I wanted to. So I'm going back to that because that's what's working for me. It didn't work for me this week because I didn't, I didn't um, follow it. I, I've got these planned on certain days, but that doesn't mean I'm going to follow each day. You know, I could mix them up, but I'm going to try and stick to the plan itself. So we're going to have on Monday, we'll start with Friday because today is Friday. It's going to be starting today. So I'm going to have overnight oats for breakfast, one fruit and one extra. And the highest this will be would be nine points. That's counting three points for each extra. So then Saturday, we're going to have bacon, egg and cheese wrap with hot sauce. And my hot sauce is one point because I use the sweet potato hot sauce and it is one point for a teaspoon, so that kind of stinks, but I'm going to count it. And then I'm going to have an extra and a fruit. Sunday, I'm going to have the hash fry up with veggies. I We actually really love that hash fry up that I have been making. So we're going to have that on Sunday. And then on Monday, we're going to have sausage, egg, and cottage cheese, one fruit and one extra. And then on Tuesday, we're going to have overnight oats again. We usually try to have overnight oats two times in the week. And then both Wednesday and Thursday, I have the hash fry up with the veggies because we can get our, a lot of veggies in when we do that. So that is what my plan is for breakfast for the whole week. Now let's bring you to lunch. We'll start with Friday. I'm having a premium protein with just one vegetable and an extra today for lunch because I'm going to be at the grocery store. So that is my plan for lunch. I will be leaving here after I take a shower and get ready. So it'll be over lunchtime. Saturday, we're having the pita pizza and turkey with turkey pepperoni, one veggie and one extra. And then Sunday, we're having leftovers as well as Monday because we're going to be having a lot of leftovers with our dinners over here. And I'm going to keep the point seven to nine, depending. And then um, breakfast for lunch. So we're going to have some kind of a breakfast for lunch on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we're going to have turkey or taco wraps. And then Thursday, we're going to have taco wraps for sure. If I don't make my taco meat on Wednesday, I'll just have turkey, a turkey wrap. And then we're definitely making the turkey wrap for Thursday. That is my lunch. And then the same thing, 32 ounces of water with lunch, one veggie, and one extra. And one extra can mean anything from like one built bar. It's just anything three points and under. It could mean that's when I have my pretzels or my pointed coffee. Anything fun or extra that I want to add to my meal. Because I'm trying to make my meals a little bit bigger. All right. This is my meal planner. And I know several people ask where I get this. This is one of the older ones. And it is from carryl.com. E-L-L-E. C-A-R-R-I-E-E-L-L-E dot -E -E com. So if you're interested in that, it also has, on the back of this, it also has like a folder to put some recipes that you may find online. Stick them in there. It has a note section. And then it has a gathering section. So you get all of that, plus you tear out your grocery list. So I really like this book because it has a lot of different options in there. Mainly it's these pages though and then you just tear out your grocery list so that's what it looks like underneath and I just add my days here whenever you want to start your week you can. 
So I'm starting this week on Friday. So Friday we're having slow cooker Thai chicken. I found all of these recipes online and I'll share where I got them when I do the video for that day. So I will share where I got them from. So in case you guys are interested in whether or not we liked it and where we got it from, we're going to do slow cooker Thai chicken. That's eight smart points. I didn't get all the smart points for all of these because some of them I have to figure out. They're not figured out for me. This is going to be Saturday's honey cilantro chicken tenders. One smart point per tender, but I think I can get that down a little bit. We're going to see about that. Sunday is instant pot creamy cilantro lime chicken. That's four smart points. Monday is ginger cilantro chicken with rice and broccoli. Tuesday is cilantro lime chicken with rice. Do you see similar items in my meals this week? <laughs> and then Wednesday and Thursday we're having leftovers. So I'm having a lot of cilantro because we love cilantro, we love chicken, and I'm just gonna try all these dishes in a different way since I'm gonna be buying a lot of cilantro. I thought I'd make a bunch of meals that have cilantro in them in lime because I'm gonna have a lot of limes and a lot of cilantro on hand. So that is what we found and I, and I always like trying these things in new ways. That is my meal plan. And then my grocery list is that. And then I will take you along in my next video, show you a grocery haul, and then I'm going to start prepping my vegetables as well. And I'll bring you along for that in the next video. But I wanted to get this one out there just because it was going to be a little bit longer. And I thought, I might as well get it out there. My internet has been super fast at uploading. It only took from 9 p.m. to 2.30 a.m. to do my almost 10-minute video last night, which I was really shocked at. I was just floored that it popped up at 2.30 in the morning. That's amazing. So I thought I'd get this edited real quick before I jump in the shower and get it uploading. And maybe, maybe you will see this even tonight. And it is Friday. It is August 9th today. I hope everybody enjoys your day. I am enjoying my coffee. And like I said, I'm going to edit this real quick and Eclipse has to go outside. I'm going to edit this real quick and then jump in the shower and get to shopping. <laughs>